when you rub silk on a glass rod do the electrons prefer one substance more than the other any other examples the unauthorized reproduction or distribution of this copyright work is illegal single user license only criminal copyright infringe infringement including inf infringement without monetary gain is prohibited this video is produced by hdtvedu.com welcome we want to be the common man's physics teacher our goal is to make it efficient direct and simple our focus is just you so when you rub silk and glass rod glass rod loses electrons remember before you rub it is neutral when you lose electrons what happens you have an excess number of protons compared to the number of electrons so glass rod loses electrons so what happens to the glass rod it becomes positive glass rod becomes positively charged the silk gets excess electrons silk becomes negatively charged because you now have more electrons than number of protons rubbing dry skin and polyester dry skin gives up electrons so what happens when you give up electrons you have more protons compared to number of electrons so the dry skin becomes positively charged the polyester gets electrons so what happens polyester it becomes negatively charged human hair hair and comb human hair gives up electrons so what happens to human hair it becomes positively charged the comb gets excess electrons the comb becomes negatively charged fur and plexiglass rod fur gives up electrons that means what fur becomes positively charged the plexiglass the plexiglass rod gets excess electrons the plexiglass rod becomes negatively charged